Welcome to this week's In Between Wednesday webinar. This webinar is going to be a real quick test whiz introduction. I'm Laura Lynn O'Keefe from ESU8 and I want to thank Jeff Janda for allowing me to utilize part of his presentation in this webinar. So what exactly is test whiz? Well, it's the new formative assessment state test prep. It also replaces the C4L or the check for learning, but has quite a bit of additional content and features. It uses nationally produced Navigate Item Bank of over 68,000 questions. It also contains Nebraska's locally produced items that have been rolled over from the C4L. Tests can be taken online via paper and pencil or scores can be keyed in by the teacher. It also has a lot of reports that can be customized to disaggregate data based on student codes or class. So how to get logged in. Go to testwiz.net. You're going to input your login information and password. You then click forget password and it will be sent to you if you don't have that information. You may want to change your password as well to something that you can remember a little bit easier. So what do I do? When I forget all this stuff, I do the training, and now I actually need to implement it. There's a couple different options. Once you log in, you will see the sidebar. The help documents are PDFs, uh, Word documents that you can print off or read on screen, but there's also a video located under training that they're just short snippets of videos that you can watch depending upon the part of TestWiz that you need some assistance in. So now we're going to create assessments using the Navigate Item Bank. With these 68,000 questions, those are the Navigate Item Bank, but they also give you the option to just click C4L or you can click Navigate Item Bank and C4L Item Bank and the tests will be generated based on those items. They are aligned to Nebraska State Standards, Math, English Language Arts, the Science Standards that are currently being used, and Social Studies Standards. So to create an assessment, from the TestWiz homepage, you're going to click on Utilities. Utilities will then give you a variety of drop-down menus. You're going to want to collect, click on Test Management. Click Create te New Test, then go through each step on the menu on the left. So you will create, create a test. It will ask you to give a test abbreviation. You will not be allowed to use any spaces on this. The test name, you're going to want to have that something that's pretty consistent so that your class is bunched together. Let's say I'm going to do L. O'Keefe Math 8 and then maybe the next one it's going to be L. O'Keefe Math 8-1 and then when you're searching they will all be clumped together. It will walk you through this process with simply clicking the next bar. You can, arrow, you can narrow your question choices using filters. Clicking previous or next, next saves all those changes. So uh, you can, you, here is where you will see Navigate Item Bank, or it'll be C4L, or both Navigate and C4L. You click your subject here, your grade down here, then click Next. You can narrow then by specific subsections, geography, civics, economics, or history, or it will select items from all subsections and then click next. This is where you're going to focus in on standards if needed. Again, you can click select from all standards and they will generate a test that way as well. So now you're going to select items. You can use the Quick Test Builder or select your items individually. The Quick Test Builder will just randomly select questions that are from the selected standards that you have chosen. 
or you can specifically select the items that you want from the list below. If you hover over the top of the hyperlink, it will give you sample questions for that particular standard. Once you've got all of your items selected, you can do an online preview. When you're using the online preview, there's a couple things that you want to take a look at or pay attention to. The types of questions in this particular assessment are all multiple choice. If there would happen to be a TE in the type, that's technology enhanced, you will then want to make sure that you're taking that test online or if you don't want to give it online, you want to give a paper and pencil, you might want to delete that question at this point and you can do that right here. You can also adjust the question order if you have a specific idea of if you want to do random or if you want to go from the least difficult to the most difficult, you can do that to the right side of your screen. You can also print a sample booklet from this review page if you want to collaborate with coworkers to mark up, change, maybe you want to um, utilize those questions but not on the TestWiz platform and you want to use them as a bell ringer, you can pull that sample booklet from this page. And once you've done that, you push Next and it will take you to a published page. You will want to publish this page and you will be prompted to do a few more things before you can actually give that paid, give that assessment. So a few helpful hints. You can preview either the teacher or the student version. You have students complete test whiz tests online or paper pencil. You can use ELA writing prompts for instruction as well as assessment. You can also sort by items with a passage or tech-enabled questions. You can sort items by blooms, standard, difficulty, or depth of knowledge. And don't forget about the training videos and the help documents on the home page right after login if you need more assistance. So now we move on to test administration. You have just published your test. There's now a couple more steps that you have to do to retrieve it. There are three ways to give a test quit, a test whiz test. So online, the questions and answers are all completely via your device. The nice part about this is it's um, worldwide web based, so you don't have to have a specific software on your computer. Any student can do it anywhere, anytime, on any device. Paper pencil, you print out test booklets. The students answer on a bubble sheet, which are then scanned into the test whiz system to score. And then it's loaded, and then you can still do your item analysis. Or you can score key entry, which is the teacher keys in a score for the question for each student. This could be useful for more performance-oriented tasks, or if you have something that's hands-on and you want to attach it then, with maybe an online assessment. So to create a test administration, you're back at the utilities, you clicked utilities, you're in test management. From test management it will drop down and you'll select test specifications and then select an existing test. Select the test that you would like to give. This is where it's important to have your tests clumped together and have very identifiable names because if you have this whole long list, you're going to search and search and search. So select the test that you would like to give. Once you do that, you'll go to the test management window and select create, edit, delete down here on the bottom. And that will allow you to create your test administration. You're going to follow the steps to add your date, a short label of what that test's name is, and optionally, and maybe a purpose. You don't have to necessarily put in a purpose. Then click Create. Then click Return to Create, Edit, Delete, Test Administration. And it will really walk you step by step through this process. So from that um, Create, Edit, Delete, Test Administration page, you're going to want to click on online testing setup. 
you will set a time frame. So if you want this test to be open just during your one class period, or maybe you have it open for a week in case you have students coming in and out, gone for an event, this is where you would set that time frame up and then click Save. You will then need to print online testing tickets. So you're going to hover over your test management at the top of the menu and drop down to print online test tickets. Select the test administration you want to print for. That will be right here. You'll have a specific list. Go through the year, the grade, the name. Follow directions on the page to indicate what type. Want a grade override? Do you want to select teacher type? Select student? Or do you just want to do the whole class? And then determine what format you want the test tickets. You can print them out individually on one page. You can have a multiple test tickets on a page or just a roster list that you could then create your own tickets for the password. If you are doing bubble sheets for the paper pencil, again, you're going to want to go to test management on the top menu. Click print scannable answer sheets. Select the test administration you want to print for, which is what test it is that you want. Follow the directions on the page to indicate if you want to grade override again or select your teacher type, select students or all students. Then you determine how many extra sheets you might want for new students, student mistakes, etc. And then the bubble sheets will show up as a PDF to print. So now scanning. According to Certica, standalone scanners work the best. Copy machines with scanning capabilities may or may not work. Pen or pencil is required to fill out these. Marker and crayon will not work. Some types of questions have areas on the side for students to write and then a bubble for them for the teacher to score to fill out to score it later. There is a document to help with scanner setup and paper pencil testing on the help documents tab on that page directly after login. Once your students have taken tests, the most beneficial maybe to you is what are those formative formative assessments looking like? Do I have particular items that maybe I need to hit harder? So to create reports, you're first going to select a test, then choose a reporting group and reporting type from the Create Reports page. You will be have the opportunity to preview, preview the report so you can always go back and change your preferences. So first, click Tests from the top menu bar to open the Select Test Administration page. If you are in the Utilities console, you'll want to select a test, choose Select a Test for Reporting. And those, so there's actually two ways to be able to get to the same place. You can also filter. The test for which you can view or print reports are listed here. If you want to filter, you can put your um, L. O'Keefe Math 8, and it will filter for you, pull up that specific test. Reporting groups and types. So you can print a report based on an individual student, a class, you can do school, district, or multi-district, depending upon how CERTA has um, set it up for you. Once you do that, there's going to be a drop-down menu of report type, and there's a whole variety of different kinds of options that you have there. Your teacher type, location, and then create, select your parameters and create. There are a variety of sample report resources. Reports are customizable and can be configured to meet your needs depending upon what specific things you can sort based on, on gender, you can sort based on top, standard, however you would like to do that. But some sample reports that show options for student reporting are found on the Help Documents tab as well. There's also additional help for reports to how to even get to the reporting page on that same Help Document tab directly after login. 
if you need more support with your test whiz and one of us in the ESU is not available at the time, do not hesitate to call Certica contact information. And here it is with the toll-free helpline. It's also found on the TestWiz site. There's an alternate line, or you can always email them at testwiz at certicasolutions.com. If you have any additional questions about TestWiz, don't hesitate to give us a call here at the ESU. Have a great day.